Hi, Dave Moore here from Choice Training Limited. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to recharge an expansion vessel. So, vessels come in all different sizes, but the way to charge them is always the same. There's a Schrader bicycle sort of pump valve on the top, and the information you need about a vessel is all located on this label on the side. Uh, so it will tell you the working pressure, the pre-charge pressure, the size of the vessel, etc. The bit we're going to be looking at is the pre-charge pressure, which on this case is 1.5 bar. This is a domestic central heating vessel with nice central heating because it's coloured in red. So first of all, you take off the retaining cap. Keep that in your pocket for safety, otherwise you'll lose it. Get a pressure gauge of some sort. This is a nice easy one that you can just push on the top. Once you push it on the top, it tells you your pressure and I'm just under one and a half bar in this case. So it does need a little bit of a charge. You can use a normal handheld bicycle pump. You would attach your bicycle pump, try not to drop it. Make sure you lock it on. Uh, I've got a pressure gauge on here as well and it is the same as that one, about 1.2 bar. So I'll charge it a little bit, just watching the gauge. Once I'm at one and a half bar on my gauge, it means I've charged this vessel to the required amount. Uh, you can see just about there probably that I'm on one and a half bar. So double check the label, it does say one and a half bar. So you are good to remove your valve quickly and then re replace the retaining cap, the dust cap that you kept in your pocket. You've now recharged the vessel.